Hey y'all, today is Sunday. It is before church. I am going up here to hook up my trailer and uh, the boys are gonna help me hook it up because right after church today, I've gotta go get hay from Cody and uh, the girls are going to hang out with some friends. And then after that, we're gonna hang out with friends. So anyway, let me go up here. We're gonna hook this trailer up, then to church, then for hay. Hope y'all are doing well. We'll see what all we get into in this video because I really am not sure what all the day is going to hold, but it's going to be a long day. The first egg in months. This is exciting. And it would be very, very exciting if we, if our friends hadn't just given us a hen. They had a hen the other chickens were pick, picking on and uh, they couldn't get them to quit, so they gave her to us. This is her egg. It doesn't mean our chickens are starting to lay, but it does mean we've got an egg. So it is awesome. We've been trying some different things. We just started yesterday to kick our chickens back into gear on laying, hoping to get more and more eggs because feeding 50 chickens a bunch of freeloaders is not going to last for very much longer but i think i think what we're doing is going to work well if it works we'll tell you all about it because maybe if you have chickens that aren't laying and maybe it'll work for them as well all right well we're going to get this trailer out of here go to church and then we're going to get some hay i don't think i've shown y'all louisa yet mirabelle's new calf her first calf so let me, she's a pretty good ways off, but let me see if I can get her here. There she is. The red calf with the white face. We'll get some better footage of her later when Kylie's not driving Jack's noisy truck turning around. I am so excited. We got an egg. This is the first egg we've had in like months, like for real. Now I know Derek explained that it's not from our chicken. It's from a chicken our friend gave us, but that's okay because it's still a fresh egg coming into my house and I am ridiculously excited and it's really pretty which makes it all better so anyway i just wanted to share my joy and excitement over getting an egg finally and hopefully our chickens will be laying soon because we are trying to work on things that will help them but anyway i'm just really excited about this y'all i totally forgot to video cody loading hay it all happened so fast i didn't even think to grab the camera out it's in the back seat and uh, i'm using my phone right now it's in the back seat and I totally forgot about it. He, I, he was already loading his truck when I got there and I pulled down beside his truck and he started loading me and I got out and then it was done. Sorry, uh, but hey, I'm trying. So headed home now and uh, Jenna's gonna pick me up and we're gonna go hang out with some friends. I'm gonna pick her up or she's gonna pick me up at the house. Well. Well, here we are, y'all. A big load of hay, 12 more rolls. I wouldn't have had to get hay till like towards the end of this week if they hadn't found my hay stash, but hey, it is what it is. They're a bunch of fat, happy cows now, that's for sure. So, anyway, I'm down here at the bottom waiting on Jenna to pick me up, which I may end up walking down to our house just uh, here in a minute, but so. Here's the farm from the from the bottom. I'm not sure how much footage we've gotten from down here, but down here in the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, the little pond and then the hog feeder, that's where we used to keep our pigs, where we raised most of our pigs at. Right up here is the hay field. That's the, well, we call it a hay field, but we use it for pasture, so it's our nicest pasture field. This ridge is the one we cleaned up with the dozer and then I cleared up again, cleaned up a lot of the mess with the skid steer. And up there, let's see, there it is. Up there is the barn. So we moved the campers from in front of the barn over across the driveway, just clearing up a lot, making it look a lot neater. My goal is, today is Sunday, my goal is in the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, to get everything cleaned up and ready. Uh, probably we'll go over into Wednesday, I'm sure though, but. We've got some sun coming out. 
a breeze today the ground is thawing the ground is drying things are getting a lot better for working um i guess to monday tomorrow we'll start working on emptying out the pole barn up top into the box trailer i've got to take down the outdoor kitchen take the temporary siding that i put on this barn up here take it off to make the barn open run in again clear all of our stuff out of that barn um i'm probably going to have to put the cows back up here while i'm working on that just to keep them out of there uh, from making a mess and tearing up all my good stuff we have all of our canned food in there that we've canned up over the summer probably nearly 300 quarts of food in there so a lot of stuff i don't want the cows to get into and destroy but that's it y'all we we own from that tree line all the way down and up across to that far this tree line over there that you can see on the other side of that field way back like twice as far as the tree line at the top up here so it's a lot of land and i don't know i just feel like we're supposed to sell it and move on to the next thing that god has for us whatever that is people are asking me what are you going to do with your cows and i'm like i don't know i'm planning to keep them and i think that's what god's plan is so it's all up to god to work out all of these crazy details like that because i really don't know i don't know what his plan is but he's constantly moving us up and up so we're going to keep trying to our best to follow him but Jenna should be here pretty soon, so I'm just going to start walking down the driveway here and walk down to our house, and we will check in with her when she gets here. I'm back at the house. And I'm back at the house. Jenna's back here. Opposite direction. Yes. We made it. Uh, so, yeah. Tomorrow. What? <laughs> this is our second take on this, y'all. <laughs> we recorded this, and I transferred it to the computer, but something happened. There was some kind of glitch, and the file corrupted, and here we are. Yes. Can't think of one. Anyway. <laughs> we don't remember what we said. We had said. a pretty good clip. It was great. <clears throat> it was nice, and <laughs> now we're, our brains are dead. We were um, like, we're done. No, we're yeah. done. Yeah. Um, so, did you show them the egg? Yes. I showed you the a egg, and beautiful I'm olive really green excited. Egg. And my friend that gave us the chicken said that she didn't think that chicken laid green eggs. So that might mean that one of our chickens our is chickens. actually laying, yes. which is exciting. Um, we haven't been getting eggs and we've been switching things up, trying to get them to lay. So hopefully it's working and hopefully all of them will lay. You know, there's a lot of factors. We don't really know why they quit laying. Um, we can Slowing down is normal. Slowing Quitting down. completely when you got 50 chickens. That's not normal. not normal. We should be getting at least like a lot of eggs. So, <laughs> out of so chickens, with so. these, this green egg, we have one chicken that's two percent we even if they only laid one egg a week each chicken we would still be getting 50 eggs a week yeah. that's still a lot of eggs and we we're getting zero eggs and we have been getting zero eggs for months yeah. probably since early november i don't know a long time. anyway <clears throat> at any rate we're excited to be getting eggs yes so that's awesome one egg a day is not enough but it's better <laughs> than zero eggs a day yes it's an so, improvement yeah and we're gonna go spend some time with some friends because we're celebrating Derek because tomorrow is his birthday. Yes, it is. Monday the 6th of February. This fine human being that <laughs> brought into this world. <laughs> anyway, anyway well, that was weird. <clears throat> hey, we got a new microphone sitting yes, on top of our camera. Thank you so much. Yes. We're so grateful one of you got us this microphone. Um, our old one was barely holding on. Actually, it wasn't holding on anymore, and Derek glued it back together <laughs> i had a bunch of epoxy it mixed was, up with little molds and forms out of styrofoam it, it was a, quite a sight i was <clears> like well at least it's kind of working but this one is brand new brand new and wonderful and we are and I'm so gonna use the other one to make it like a cell phone mic yeah we're gonna say because sometimes we have to record with a cell phone so he's gonna try to rig that one up to the we'll see rig. if it works rig yeah. is, it's gonna be a rig but it might work it'll work um so <laughs> but that's um yeah when you guys bless us with just i mean when you obviously with gifts, but and then just with your comments. kind comments, your kind words, and your support, and knowing that you just care about us and think about us, and we also care about you and think about you. Mm -hmm. So we just really it blesses us. And I was saying in my last clip, but didn't make it that <laughs> it just I really feel like words don't really express our gratitude. We no. really just I they fall short. I try to like thank you, and I just feel like it doesn't really express what we really feel because. It just means the world to us. It does. It does. So, really? yeah. 
I think that's probably what we talked about. We got this week. We're gonna wrap up the farm. Yes. We Hopefully are gonna the have next a few two nice, to three days. Yeah, we have about three more nice days um, of weather before rain. Before rain again, and that pretty much is our window of opportunity to get the farm cleaned up and ready. So, so we're gonna everything we do is a throwdown, but it's actually a little chip away. Yeah, we talked about the big that. picture. Yeah. But so we're that's gonna. Uh, that's exciting. Hopefully, we'll have it ready it's um, attainable though this goal the, is, this step <clears throat> is getting it and then it'll be ready for the realtor to come out and do their pictures and all of that stuff to get a all the things away. the realtor does yeah so that's really awesome and exciting we still have, we have to bring down our canned food it's also in the bar and the shelves we have room in the basement though so that's great we're going to bring it bring them in and put them in the basement um, we have one of our deep freezers in the basement so we still have the other ones up in the barn they're going to stay up there but i need to inventory them um, i think only one of them is really full and bring point. all of our canned and food bring, down. Yeah, all the canned food down. We already talked about yep. that. Yep. So, just a lot of details, a lot of little things, but I think it'll, it's kind of thing that once we get started, it'll come together pretty okay. quickly. Yeah. Um, and Jack is doing really well. Obviously, he's still not it won't able do to do anything, and it'll be a good while, but he is recovering well, a lot less pain. He got a cast put on. I think we may have already told you that. He yeah, got his cast so. on. Um, but since having the cast, he's in a lot less pain because there's a lot less um, mobility, movement. movement. It is much more stable, so that's yeah. great. And I guess that's it. I think so. Is that it? Yep. You sure? That's all I can think of for today. <laughs> Me too. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you all. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video. Give us a thumbs up. YouTube will know that you're enjoying this. And comment below. Let us know what's going on in your world. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you all later.